Hi, I've just installed Linux Mint 18 SATA. This is our pop-up screen we get when we install it. So that's gone. I haven't installed anything. So um, uname minus a. This is still the kernel that has been given from the initial installation. We're going to install i3 on this machine. I've already, this is my fifth iteration. I've already installed the latest kernel 474 and installed all the software. Now I'm going to do it the other way around. No software, no kernel. And you'll see that just everything works with a script. We go to this website or place GitHub Eric Dubois and then I have a lot of 53 repositories and it's this one that is interesting to us now this one as well but that is to improve your ultimate Linux Mint 18 cinnamon the, the programs to download GIMP cinnamon uh, GIMP um, Inkscape I mean and on all the rest and these will be the themes and the icons so this one is the one we need now clone press on this button go down home folder and I tend to put it into a folder so I know it's not back up it's not in my Dropbox and here I open in terminal so we are in the data folder I tell it to sudo apt install git there you go run it enter Maybe you can also install, um, well, well, let's do this first, git clone, and then copy paste what we just got from the internet. And I was thinking this sudo apt install screen, 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 grab key. Let's install that as well maybe interesting for later on so screen key can be run and then it provides an impression of the screens i press okay so i3 on linux mint 8 in cinnamon is downloaded there is a readme you should keep it on another computer an ipad or something similar and so you can follow what to do you go to the installation, there is a step one. First, we're going to install i3 from the repo. This is version 4.11 and later we'll make an upgrade and we'll get a 4.12, which is the latest one. So this one is straightforward. If you just look at the code, it's just going to install everything. Let's not look at the code and just run it. And then maybe what we can do but it's gone already let's quickly add some easy to work buttons voila so we have this one here and then we say um, i3 version so at now at 4.11 we could try this with 4.11 but i definitely want to have a better and a later version and then uh, 2015 September so we're going to get the rest we're going to get i3 but then an, a fork it will work with gaps so this the workspaces will be divided in windows and there will be a little gap in between so you can see the wallpaper behind which makes it all a bit nice I've added install dependencies there was there's a lot of stuff to install before any of these two can work and rather than figuring out which one was needed i just put everything at the end uh, in one file so first we have to run all these and then there will be no troubles running these so we need the dependencies otherwise it will not work so zero install dependencies yes please 
In the meantime, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger since it's going to be on YouTube. It's maybe better that we use a bigger font so you can follow and it will be easier. Use transparency, scrolling, I hate scrolling. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep it at that. So all the extra software is going to be installed. If I have the time, I will check later which of which if there are lines I can omit. Um, I suppose one or two might be too much, but uh, it will work in the end. That's what counts. And almost there, I guess. Nope. All done. So this is done. You can close this one. So this should be run next. We should run it next. So one, enter. And there we go. We have still our title. So profiles show menu bar is better like that he's running the scripts inside check it out what's uh, been set in there in the scripts I will not I will not uh, go into that to spare some time everything looks okay it might look like gibberish and it's a bit like gibberish, but you have to scan for errors, and that's the main thing. Everything looks okay to me. And then number three. Uh, where are we? Let's quickly check again, so we are in the right folder. Three. Why is the three? Oh, the three is not existing. Two. Okay. And there we go for the last one. This is actually the i3 with the gaps. And it's going to make here you see the name in front of it, i3, i3. This is going to upgrade our i3 that comes from the repositories, which is a uh, version lower. And I've put it into the script to show the version. So we are, are now at version 4.12, which is what we want. All right, so done, done. Step two. Step two is making an extra menu. The menu desktop is quite interesting as it will only show the major applications, not all of the possible programs that are on the Linux system, but just the user share application kind of programs. And we're going to activate it later with Windows Shift D and Windows or Super Key. We should actually say in i3 mods, the mod key. That will come later. Almost there, and again a lot of gibberish. I didn't put in a sleep function, so we didn't see it finish. I'll think about that to fix that. And then step three: install extra software. I'm gonna run it again. There are some items we need: numeric locks to have a uh, numeric key lock on. Um, Fe for wallpaper, Alex appearance for themes and icons. What else? Crot for screenshots. What do I see? Compton is for making it less less uh, light and dimmer to dim the things. And clutter is for the mouse to get rid of it. Faulty is the sound icon. And Terminator is an extra terminal. And there we go. All done. 
So step three is done. Step four, I3. We have to copy paste, copy, paste, this to the control H. We have to copy paste it to the config and there paste it again. Since when you log in into I3, which we cannot do yet, eh? this is logout. So when you log in to I3, it will make this folder. It make a .config slash I3 folder. And all my specifications already are inside. So that will make your work a little bit easier and faster. And you can learn I3 on the go. So back to our data. Linux Mint, Control D, so it's in the bookmarks here. Installation, step four, done, covered. Step five, if you want to have the same uh, settings that I have, you can copy paste these. It's not necessary, you can check it out, compare it, or just like I do now, Control C copy paste it here and then go to the config gtk30 and put it here also so these are the settings for the icons the theme the cursor things like that but you can set them any way you want via alex appearance but next up is if you want to have the con keys you should run this thing since it's going to install the con key and also voila, this is going to be installed also the lua so you can have some uh, graphical elements all right step six step eight is just the terminator the terminator folder so i prefer this one and if you go to 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 to, to preferences change one thing maybe i'll just show you as well if you go to the config terminator should be in here somewhere but unless you change something like for instance the system font oh there it is terminator it makes a config file and i'm gonna copy mine over it and all the settings i choose transparency bigger letters and all that is now copy pasted and is as it should be so deleting and deleting and i run terminator it should have a different look this is my look i want on the system of i3 so that was uh, the last one this is just a step for all kind of things variety um, and gimp extras and firefox if you get this message stop firefox on saying well this is embarrassing so we're at, at the end um, the only thing we should do now is log off and log in can't show you that but in the top you will find a little icon and on the icon you should select i3 and log back in and um, well we'll continue our movies there